Salutations and welcome to the Tenacious Workshop. Today we're going to condition sewing thread with some beeswax. So we're going to take our thread, cut this off whatever length we normally use. Then you're going to take your beeswax and just lay it across the end, hold it down, and pull through. And you're basically going to be essentially cutting into your wax. And that's okay. You want to make sure it gets well coated. And just stop. You want to maintain some leverage. And if you cut all the way through, that's okay too. You should get the ends pretty well. Then what I like to do is super simple because it's not ready right now. It is very tacky still. So what I like to do is I like to rub my fingers over it and let the friction kind of warm up and melt that beeswax. And then once it's kind of melted a bit, kind of rub my nail onto it. You can almost hear that. Then turn it around, do the same thing to the, uh, the rest of it. Sometimes I'll start with my nail, depends on how thick I put it on there. Sometimes I'll just rub it between my fingers. Not everyone likes to do that, that's understandable. And now my nail. And then continue on to the rest of it. And this is just one way my preferred method because it's quick and easy and once I feel it is smooth then I'm ready to thread my needle um, you can use other waxes um, sure I just haven't I like the smell of beeswax uh, it's historic it's been around for a long it's been used for a long time in antiques and and older quilts, for example, and other items, and it's held up well. Uh, real beeswax will, over time, you can kind of see this white bloom on this other one, and it's just kind of, it's like a form of oxidation, as I understand it. If you don't like it, it's purely aesthetic. You can just rub it with your finger, and again, that friction, that heat, kind of have it go away. Um, you can also have a variety of shapes and you do the same thing. Take your thread, hold it up against there and just pull through. And just pull it through until all the thread is coated. I even have a piece here I've had for years. It used to be the same color, but little bits of thread I've embedded itself. I've kept it in my fingers and warmed it up and kind of pushed it all back together because you're going to kind of slice it up some there. So it's totally what you want to do. There are other methods of conditioning your thread, and this is just one. Have a good day. You can also, after running it through your, your 